do things by the book to supersize and grow your business. This is a little Bible. This is a Santa Claus puppet with a hand on the Bible. This idiom, this expression, by the book, comes from, or they believe it comes from, the practice of putting your hand on the a, a Bible, the Christian Bible, in court and swearing to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I, and by the book, uh, I like this idiom. It, it makes me laugh because... I am one of those people that doesn't necessarily do things by the book. I I follow the rules of law and things like that. I follow my own and, and ethical standards and core values. But I also learned early on in my corporate year that oftentimes it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission, especially in bigger organizations where it takes layers and layers and layers of approvals to get even the smallest change approved and done. Uh, did it get me in trouble every once in a while? Yes, but I made millions and millions of dollars for the businesses I worked for. So it was usually pretty quickly and easily forgiven when we changed processes and procedures to improve things versus uh, trying to sneak or get away with something. If you do things with the right intent, it almost always works out for you and for the organization that you're working for or building and growing. So, uh, by the book, I believe that rules are written for a reason, but I also believe that everything needs to continually improve and evolve, meaning some rules are written and applied without anyone ever reviewing or thinking about them. Again, in bigger organizations, it seems like the bigger they get, the more regimented they get in their uh, operations and their, their manuals and procedures. And I've been in those big organizations. I know what that's like, but I also know that everything should be subject to some periodic review. Maybe it's not annual. Maybe there's some things that don't need to be revisited every year, but our world changes so quickly. I think it's imperative that we are, and, and maybe it's not us looking at them, but someone in the organization needs to be in charge of reviewing and updating processes, procedures, systems, decision-making strategies, and plans in order to make sure that we're serving the people we're here to serve to the best of our ability. It's a pretty popular idiom by the book. It's been around, uh, you know, since biblical times, of course, as well as since courts have been around the hand swearing on the Bible. Uh, Shakespeare used it in Romeo and Juliet, Act 1, Scene 5. Uh, Romeo says something to the effect of, uh, oh no, Juliet says it actually about Romeo's kisses aren't by the book or something. Meaning, uh, not meaning in a bad way, in a good way. He meant She meant they were divine, like in the Bible. Uh, also, Edgar Allan Poe used it in one of his poems. And uh, I think it was Murders in the Rue Morgue or something. I don't know. I can't remember all the details. But I am curious. Are you a by the book, follow the rules, do what, and, and here's where I'm going to get in trouble, do what others say is right? Or are you a think for yourself, do what's right? And that might mean bending some of the regulations, not laws, not, not, you know, moral things like doing things that are illegal or immoral or unethical, but making things happen in a faster, better way because you want to make the world a better place. I think that if we're going to supersize our businesses and make the world a better place, it requires that we look at things differently, that we see things differently, that we think for ourselves and we come up with solutions that serve the people that we're here to serve in ways that they may not have even ever imagined because they didn't even know it was possible. All right, that's it. Have an awesome day. If I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it to grow and build and supersize your business? Have a great day.